Hey guys, welcome to my channel and uh, in the last video if you remember I talked about uh, the simple missing value imputation. I got some questions that uh, how we can do that in practical because I just talked about the theory. So I'm not sure if you have explored uh, my videos but uh, in, the, in some of the videos in the past I have talked about uh, imputing the missing values. So if I go into a uh, video manager uh, and uh, searching the video option should be I believe available to you as well and if I search the video um, so by saying missing let's say just just by the keyword missing it will give me uh, all of this thing uh, videos so for example in our programming in 2016 I have talked about how you can remove the NA values and uh, similarly in Python uh, how to identify and drop null values handling missing values similarly how to fill up any values various ways to f fill missing values in Python that I have already talked about and it is basically uh, related to this video missing value imputation which I um, which I have uh, showed you in the in the first video of missing value imputation theory series so if you don't find it what i'll do is i will copy the link over here in the part one so that you can directly uh, go to that video and see this thing in practical about python and any how you can remove it i believe i have talked about uh, filling up the any values as well but if i have, if I have not then i can create a second video of that but it should be straightforward because there is a predefined methods about how you want to fill up the uh, values all right and in this video what i want to talk about is the missing value imputation using linear regression so again uh, about linear regression i have already talked in previous videos so if i go and search by the linear regression there will be a couple of videos which will be shown over here where i have talked about how you can uh, uh, Cre create a linear regression model so for example within the tableau uh, this is in tableau this is in python and there should be something in r if i'm not wrong yeah simple linear regression interpreting li linear regression all of those things so uh, this this information is also available in my video series about uh, how you can create a linear regression model but uh, what I just want to talk about is how you would really utilize the linear regression methodology uh, to impute missing values. So we, what we have over here is uh, x1, x2 and x3 as our three uh, variables. And uh, within that variables, uh, for x1 and x2 if you see they are fully available but for x3 there are some missing values. So what we want to do is that uh, with the help of either x2 or x1 or maybe both x1 and x2 if you find it useful you want to uh, fill up these values so in this case this x3 is basically your uh, predict uh, the variable that you want to predict and x2 is your dependent or a predictor variable that with the help of that variable you want to predict the value so it can be x2 or x1. Now how would you really uh, think about whether you want to choose x1 or x2, uh, let's say for a first shot. So that basically depends on how good uh, they are correlated with this x3 variable. So if the correlation, if you, if you have seen the previous videos or already know about correlation, it ranges from minus 1 to plus 1. And minus 1 says that uh, perfectly negatively correlated and plus 1 says positively uh, correlated. So if any value, if it is let's say minus 0.8 or plus 0.8, that means near to the 1, uh, that means that var variable is highly correlated with this uh, with this uh, variable x3 which we want to predict and then uh, we can go ahead and uh, you know use it in the linear regression so linear regression has some assumptions uh, and some of one of the very first assumption is that value should be linearly correlated and that's what we are trying to do uh, to find the correlation between the two variables x3 x2 or x3 x1 uh, 
whatever a variable or whichever variable x1 or x2 is highly correlated which we will going to use it in a linear regression model and try to predict it by substituting the value of uh, 15 and then trying to see what will come uh, as an independent variable for this similarly 10 let's say we want to substitute so if if you are not sure how the variable uh, calculation looks like I'll just create a simple calculation like over here so standard is y is equals to mx plus c that's basically an equation of line of a 10th standard or 12th standard if you have uh, read in your mathematic books it's the equation of line where m is basically a slope and c is coefficient and generally how the equation comes is y is equals to uh, maybe 1.5x plus let's say c is maybe 7 for example that's that's what uh, these videos will basically show you for example uh, linear regression ordinary least square method right or how to create a linear regression model in tableau using r so whichever way you are finding it useful tableau python or even r you can use that and uh, create this kind of an equation so what how it will help us is once we have this equation so in this case this will be let's say x2 right so what we will do is we will say y is equals to 1.5 uh, multiply with uh, 15 in this case plus 7 so once we have substituted 15 our calculation will come is uh, 2 to 5 and point over here plus uh, 7 so 22.5 that is output of 1.5 on 15 and uh, then y is equals to uh, 29.5 it's just an example it's not the clear representation of this because we have not calculated correlation I just showed you that 29.5 will probably come here if this is what the equation is and that's how you can do the missing value imputation in this now this this equation if you would like uh, you can take one variable if that's what it suits us and, and x1 is not really providing us a lot of value because uh, let's say both x1 and x2 is is really correlated let's say x2 is 0.8 and x1 is uh, 0.7 and you really want to include that but how would you decide that after adding let's say x2 x1 is uh, really um, uh, you know adding it uh, some value to the equation well then it comes another concept in picture which is adjusted r square so what it says is that uh, uh, if we have added if we are adding any variable or new variable into the equation like this so this can be mx1 uh, plus mx2 uh, so if you are adding it into an equation any new variable let's say x1 then whether it is increasing the score or decreasing the score of adjusted r square and if it is increasing the adjusted r square um, score let's say 0.8 to uh, 0.85 or 0.9 then it is worthwhile uh, adding the new variable which is x1 otherwise if let's say adjusted r square reduced from 0.8 to 0.75 to 0.7 then it does not really make sense even if the value is correlated so that's that's the important thing the question uh, really comes uh, in in the interviews that how would you really say that adding a new variable is really a significant adding a, a value to the uh, equation or not and your answer should be the adjusted r square is the metric in case of a sim uh, simple linear regression which basically helps us um, identifying whether adding a new variable is adding a value to the equation or not so this way even if you have 10 different variables you can experiment it and try to figure out the adjusted r square values for them and uh, put it in your equation only those variables which uh, which are making sense so this way you can do the missing value imputation using the uh, linear regression i really recommend uh, these videos what i'll do is i'll just put the link in my some of the videos uh, into this 
uh, video which will basically help you produce this equation y is equals to mx plus 1 or mx plus 2 and then you can go ahead and use the use the or create the linear regression for missing value imputation using the linear regression method so all right uh, that's pretty much it for this video and i will meet you in the new video uh, with k and n imputation method